Look how they, look how they massacre my boy. Look how they massacre my face. They've done such horrific atrocities, and I don't know how. I don't know how I'll ever heal from this. They say time kills all wounds, and that's bullshit. Time when they heal no wounds. Once something happens, it's like that forever. You're gonna, you will, you will always be messed up from which, from what's happened to you. <laughs> They lie to you. You don't listen to those famous philosophers and and people who who have awesome quotes like Kyle Miyazaki in the anime was a mistake. And Stanley also saying comic books were a mistake. You don't listen to those people because they don't know what they're talking about. They're old, they're old people who are past their prime and they just they, they just need to be quiet and shut up because, because yeah. they need to be quiet and shut up because obviously obviously anime is a new way like little little girls dressed in skimpy clothing in high school and very poorly written stories yeah that's the future bro yeah, I believe that. Dash the future. I don't know what these people were talking about. Oh, Alfred Hitchcock. You know, the bomber to the table. Tell Alfred Hitchcock that his movies are bombs, although they aren't. But, you know, they're bombs in terms of, like, relevancy because his movies suck. And people keep telling you about how you should live. You know, you should learn from your your mistakes in history. Like, nah. We, we learn we learn so many historical mistakes, and then there's still problems. Like, then, nah, 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 nah. nah. We, we'll never learn from these issues and these problems. You know, it's just dumb. It's just it, nah, 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 nah. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that at all, man. Miss me with that historical knowledge and how it's relevant for a, 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 an important future moving ahead. Nah, man. Climate change is fake. You know why it's fake? Because if the climate climate changes all the time, it's, it's hot in the summer and it's, and it's cool in the, in the fall and it's cold in the winter and then it's hot again in the spring. You know, climate change is a normal thing for us. Man, like, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. We say like climate change, bro. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. See my face. You see my face. See how they butchered me. They butchered me. I trusted these people. And they butchered me. It's like, how would you get married and you're trusting your spouse and your spouse cheats on you or they they kill the kids or they cheat on you? Then they eat the kids. They eat the kids at a dinner with the person that they're cheating on you with. That's just horrible, man. That is just terrible. Wow, bad. That's absolutely bad. No, no parents should eat their kids unless they have to eat their kids. You know, I don't like. You know, babies taste best when they're fresh and stuff like that. I wonder what a baby tastes like. If you, if, you, if you put it like in general salad chicken sauce. You might be eating a baby and it's covered in general salad chicken sauce. That makes for, that makes for great food. A great food indeed. I mean, great food indeed. You know, I, I want to put general salad chicken on salad and a fruit. 
Cause the song, cause you know, I'm considering maybe going vegan here and there. You know, I have to change things up in my life and experience it. And consider that, and consider this, and I put general sound chicken on my. I put general sound chicken sauce on my on my on my salad. I put ketchup on my salad. I put I, I put gen, what I put general sound chicken, general sour sauce and, and milk. In my milk, that tastes delicious. Um, if we eat cereal with you know general cell, oh, put chocolate syrup, put chocolate syrup, and uh, chocolate. Oh boy, chocolate syrup and 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 milk, and you mix it with a uh, you mix it with a uh, general sour chicken sauce. Wow, excellent, man. Excellent thing. So, I think they just left me here to die. So, um, I guess this is like kind of the last video of me because I'm dying. So, um, yeah, it's just got to acknowledge that, you know, sometimes people are going to leave you in the world, you know. They, they think of it. They just will be looking over you, and then they don't look over you, and then you die, bro. Like, you just die. Like, you know how when your parents are, they, like, they take you to school, or they're supposed to be taking you to school, and then, and then, uh, like, like after a certain day, they, they just push you on the bus, or they're like, oh, look, this is killing me right now, so you're crushing my arms, bro. They push you, your parents push you on the bus, and they're like, like, how do they know that's not the last time they're gonna see their kid? Like that if their kid walk down the street to go to school, they're essentially sending their kid to die. If there's like a a, a, a coyote or or Freddy Krueger around the corner or like, you know, or like like there's just like like a like a boomerang that flies from like Australia and it just like cuts their heads off. You know, you don't know, man. Like you just be sending your kids in the, into there to die. That's how it really be. Like, I see it might really be like that. It's like I be thinking, like every time I leave somebody, like I care about, like on the train or a bus, I'm like, yo, I love you. I'll see you later. You don't know if that's like the last time you see them. You might send them to their death, or like you know how old a tourist acts to you. A tourist asks you, hey, if someone has lost it, oh, hey, how do I get here? And you point them in, the, you point them in that direction. Like, yo, go that way. Yeah. What if you're sending them to die? Like, what if you're sending them to, like, to get robbed and murdered? What if that, you know? What if that? That's crazy. I think about that sometimes as a joke. I'm like, yo, what if I point that person in the direction? And it's, you know, point them in the wrong direction, of course, right? But you point them in the direction, and that's directions where you you, you you point them to death. Bruh. Bruh. You know how messed up that. I said, like like oh, I didn't hold the gun. I just gave the bullets for the gun to kill a person. Damn, bro. You pointed that person in their direction to die. And they died, bro. They died because of you. You know how fucked up that is? They know like you killed somebody because you pointed them in the wrong direction and they trusted your word. A complete stranger killed. Oh, bro. Bro. As deep. That's deep. That's kind of how life is. Like you get pointed in a direction and you don't know which direction is the right direction. And you point them to a direction and then, they, and then you die. You die because you were pointed in the wrong direction in life. A lot of people are like that. Now I'm pointed in some directions that were pretty bad in my life. And, I, and you know, I kept finding like better routes out of those directions to that direction to this direction to that direction and I'm survived I survived well I still have like my my head I got all this crazy shit in my head bro I 
a lot of depression and anxiety and, and uh, some other shit. I've been seeing, I see and hear shit sometimes, you know, that's kind of like the direction how it's pointed in life. It's like you got certain kind of leaves stuck in your head from the tree that you were walking through that path and then you were ducking and dodging and bobbing and waving through the trees and there's certain leaves on your head. And those leaves stay on you when you go to another path, no matter where you're going. Those leaves stay on you because it's a part of you from that other path. Bro. Bro. That's, a, that's an analogy, bro. I think they want me to die here now. They just, I think they're gonna take my leg. They're gonna take my leg. And they're gonna take my arm. And they're, and they're gonna... They're gonna take my nose because I have a nice nose for breathing air. Look at my coconut nose. Look at that. They're gonna take it. They're gonna take my eyes. And my... I have nice... My ears are okay. They're gonna take everything. <sighs> They're gonna take they gonna take my heart out of my oh, 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 oh. They're gonna take my heart and they're gonna show it on the black mark. Wow. Look at the needle. You look at the hyperdermic needle of me. You're tripping, bro. Oh man. That that heroin is hitting me pretty hard, bro. I'm on a whole trip, I'm on a whole other planet, you know, all of but it's happening, it's coming my arm. What? Who? Paul Flavel, oh, no, you, oh, you, shut up, you know, you're talking about, I don't think anyone knows what they're talking about. Yo, that was pretty fun though, getting my two pulls always fun. I'm a miss it though, but it was pretty fun. It was really cool. It was really quick too. I thought it'd be like a, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not a professional. My face is numb by the way. Oh god. Hello, how are you doing? Hello. She's awesome, man. She's so cool. I appreciate her because she 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 talked to me when there was no one in here. Man, we had a great conversation about about the weather and about ages and stuff. And it was really nice. And and she and I talked about how I only speak English and now I learn other languages. But you know English. She said. She could be better at English. I'm like, no, your English is well. It's awesome. I'm mean, like, you're better than me automatically because you know two different languages and I only know English. I know English and I know bad English. I got that from the fifth element. I like saying that often. I know bad English. Ooh. Am I head jittering like that or is that the camera? Man. I had some nice food in the house. You know, we went food shopping, I wanna eat. And I don't know if I could even eat that. Cause, cause I had soup. I eat some soup. Don't lay up back. Okay, relax. I feel like I feel like it's rations, man, in the second the war, and I gotta eat soup. Don't put it back now. I gotta, I gotta eat canned goods, cause Cause, cause okay. they're the ration you need to survive, bro. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm tired too. I always sleep well last night. She don't know. Oh, my arm feels weird. And I feel weird. And I look weird. And I'm ugly. I'm kind of. Nah, I'm Gucci. Oh God, my face is disfigured forever. It's bad enough I was ugly, and now I'm even more ugly. And my face is disfigured. Okay. I know I'm on the way. Push. 
I'm a big girl now. I'm a big girl. 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 I'm a